Hey guys, today let's talk about the functional trainer overhead tricep extension and we're going to be taking a pronated grip with this specific variation. I highly recommend you guys do this exercise if you want to improve your triceps. So the first thing I would do is set up the height of your start position to around your lower back and then the rotation lever to one and so basically you're inside the machine instead of like in the middle of the gym and then choose your appropriate weight so i recommend you start off light do 20 repetition then slowly start to increase the weight so a couple good things here is to stand shoulder width apart slightly forward meaning like take a little step forward from the machine so you're not all on top of it keep your elbows nice and tight and back and then you want to take make a full extension all the way at the top those, those things are key when it comes to doing this exercise correctly. But before we continue, a word from today's video sponsor. Me, I'm today's video sponsor. And if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle, there's a few ways I can help you down below. Either set up a free consultation with us, purchase through one of our free affiliate links, or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs. Can't wait to be of service to you. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. So like I said, you just want to make sure that you're keeping your elbows nice and back. So your elbows basically should be pointing the ceiling the whole time. Uh, if you can do that, you're going to get a lot from this exercise. If your elbows are basically pointing forward, uh, you're going to start hitting your head with the cable, obviously. Um, it's just going to be a very uncomfortable motion. It's also not proper. Like you want to make sure you're doing the exercise correctly, minimize injury, optimize results. Another thing you want to make sure is that you're grabbing the bar close. So like put your thumbs um, kind of like out and you want both of your thumb, thumbs to touch and then that's the grip you want to have when it comes to grabbing the bar. Then obviously, you know, grab the bar properly with the thumbs all the way around the bar once you can measure that and then you'll be pretty much good to go. Another key thing that I want you guys to think about is making sure that you're keeping your glutes tight and your abs tight. That's going to keep you locked in. You don't want to be loose in those areas because if you are, then you're going to start swaying back and forth. And then obviously this starts to um, change the line of tension. Like you're not going to feel that as much in your triceps. And that's what most exercise. You want to make sure that you keep your core tight. Another thing I want you guys to think about is making sure that you're maintaining the proper tempo. So proper tempo as in you want to make sure that you're in full control of the weight during the whole set. If you feel like you have to use momentum in order to use the weight, the weight is too heavy. You need to lower the weight and control it. Don't rush muscle building. This takes time. And if you want to actually train for a long period of time, then you will need to make sure that you're safe. Another key thing that I want you guys to think about is keeping that chin tucked and making sure that you're coming to a full extension at the top and you're coming all the way down to stretch it. Those two things are key when it comes to building muscle. Keep tension. Here's some common mistakes. You bring your elbows out. You don't want that. You want your elbows together and back. Then you also don't want to be leaning forward like this. So you don't want to be pressing the weight kind of like along your back. It's obviously going to make it very uncomfortable with doing this exercise. Now the thing you want to avoid is doing half reps at the top or even half reps at the bottom. Full repetitions here, guys. 